I dislike when YouTubers have intros, so let's jump straight in. The top 26 supply chain management jobs. So number 26 is an inventory manager. The national average salary in the USA is $60,535 per year. Primary duties include inventory managers, also called inventory analysts, are responsible for tracking and monitoring inventory in a warehouse or other facility. They may also create organizational systems and documentation processes that adhere to industry best practices. Inventory managers watch for possible supply overages and shortages. And just as a side note, after your studies, this is a very good way to get into supply chain and procurement. So look out for these jobs if you're on the first rung of the ladder on your supply chain career. Number 25 is a logistics manager. The national average salary is 61,605 US dollars per year. Primary duty for logistics managers are to plan and oversee how a company orders materials and delivers their products to consumers or vendors. They also ensure regulatory compliance at every phase in the supply chain. Logistics managers may also be responsible for the entire supply chain of an organization or a designated region within a large company. Number three is a logistics planner. So this would be 61,227 per year is the national average salary and the primary duties encompass. Logistics planners coordinate the receiving and distribution of a company's supplies and product. They must be highly detail oriented to research all phases of the shipping process and track shipments and deliveries to clients, customers and vendors. Logistics planners often report to logistics or supply chain managers. Next, we have the transport manager, and the national average salary is 63,508 per annum. And transport managers oversee an organization's transportation activities, including vehicle sourcing and procurement, adhering to safety and other regulatory guidances for delivery and oversized vehicles, conducting operator and driver training and creating schedules. Next, we have facilities manager and the national average salary is $64,084 per year. Primary duties for facility managers is work mainly in production and manufacturing to manage the regular maintenance and upgrades of equipment, systems and other physical components. They may oversee one location or be responsible for all of a company's manufacturing facilities. Number 20 is a supply chain specialist. So $65,151 per year. Supply chain specialists, also called supply chain planners, work with an organization's logistics team to help source and order materials, plan inventory needs based on customer trends and coordinate product deliveries. They often report to supply chain managers. Next, we have a distribution manager and their national average salary is $67,912 per year. Distribution managers oversee the delivery phase in a supply chain. They manage the timeline, quantity and destination of a product and supply shipments. Distribution managers must be able to forecast consumer behavior and use industry software for planning and implementation. A production manager with a national average salary of 68,230 US dollars per year. They oversee production team members, equipment and processes. They focus on meeting company standards, providing a safe work environment, meeting production quotas and adhering to state and federal guidelines. Next, we have a purchasing manager. Purchasing managers are responsible for sourcing, researching and contracting with material or product suppliers. They work to find the highest quality, most effective materials and negotiate to receive the best deal for their organization on products to use or resell. And their national average salary is $70,396 per year. Coming in next, we have a supply chain analyst at $71,307 US per year on average. Supply chain analysts work with organizations to observe supply chain processes and locate inefficiencies 
or other problems within the supply chain and make recommendations for improving operations. They often report to the supply chain manager. And funny enough, next we have the supply chain manager. And there's a big jump in salary now to 80,566 per year. So supply chain managers sometimes refer to supply chain administrators, plan and oversee components of the supply chain. They aim to decrease costs, monitor inventory and keep the process moving efficiently. They try to anticipate and respond to issues in supplies, logistics or budgeting. Next we have a quality manager. So the national average salary is 82,826 per year. Their primary duties include helping to define company quality standards and ensure the products and services meet those standards for clients, customers and employees. They must have a thorough understanding of all industry regulations and monitor their organization's processes for compliance. Quality managers create plans for quality improvement. Next, we have capacity manager coming in at 83,019 US dollars per year as a national average salary. Their primary duties include making sure that an organization has the resources and processes in place to meet market demands. They work to make manufacturing and production processes as productive as possible through optimized processes, tailored resources, effective supply chain operations and strategic partnerships. Next, we have a global commodity manager and the national average salary is 85,898 US dollars per year. Their primary duties are to create and implement commodity strategies to help an organization maintain an efficient, cost effective international supply chain. They research market trends to anticipate inventory fluctuations, monitor product quality, and manage relationships with suppliers. So, of note, a lot of these jobs overlap. You could have a procurement manager also being a quality manager and looking after lead investigations on materials that come in as defective and you could also have an analyst being a procurement manager you can have a logistics manager working in supply chain etc so if you want to move out of one position and into another typically these are quite fluid in definition next we have a category manager and the national average salary is 92,894 per year. And the primary duties include focusing on a specific category within an organization to research and analyze that distinct market, predict consumer behavior and develop associated ordering and marketing strategies. They use their knowledge of demand and buying trends to work closely with suppliers and ensure optimal cost savings. Next, we have a sourcing manager coming in at 94,706 US dollars per year. Their primary duties include collecting data and analyzing that data of an organization's sourcing processes. They research suppliers and balance quality and cost metrics to find the best options. Sourcing managers also track and organize spending budgets. Next, we have a procurement manager. Now, I have made a video on the procurement career path previously and should you study procurement. So check out those videos if you want further insights or indeed subscribe to my YouTube channel. So the average salary is actually 81,655 with a large range on the top end. A procurement manager is the main contact between a business and its suppliers. Specific duties a procurement manager might perform include using analytical skills to identify and evaluate possible suppliers, negotiate favorable payment terms with potential suppliers, post-contract formalization, monitor how the supplier performs to ensure it is meeting its contractual obligations, work with company managers, engineers and executives on capital projects to ensure they procure essential supplies and monitor changes in the industry, establishing forecasts to create the appropriate strategies to further the operational goals of the business.
and the, and the educational background that you need because of the technical and analytical nature of the job, a procurement manager often has to hold at least a bachelor's degree in a technical discipline. In my case, I have a PhD completely unrelated to procurement. So there's always a way in. Next, we have a strategic sourcing manager. The average salary is 92,141 US dollars. A strategic sourcing manager helps ensure that an organization's purchasing spend balances cost effectiveness with profitability and competitiveness. The person in this role is ultimately responsible to business stakeholders and may have to present recommendations to stakeholders for approval. Here are some of the strategic sourcing manager's specific duties conducting research to drive the company's purchasing decisions and analyzes new business opportunities, negotiate prices with suppliers and vendors, and work closely with the purchasing and procurement departments. And typically their educational background is having a minimum of a bachelor's degree in economics, finance, logistics, or a related field. Some companies require a master's degree in business for this position. So next we have a senior facilities manager and their average salary comes in at 97,855 US dollars. So a facilities manager ensures that buildings, properties and services uphold an organization's operations. Here are some specific duties a facilities manager is likely to have. Supervises building facilities and property maintenance and creates maintenance policies and procedures to govern them. Manage building systems including mechanical, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, safety and waste management. Meet government regulations as well as environmental health and security standards. And their educational background, typically they have a bachelor's degree in business, engineering, facility management or information management. And this is required for this position. So number 20 is a global commodity manager. The average salary is $102,299. Generally a senior position within an organization, a global commodity manager is a key employee in the purchasing department who coordinates the procurement strategy for particular commodities. To succeed in this position, the global commodity manager must have an understanding of the local and global market, supplier sourcing and risk and performance management. Here are some duties a global commodity manager is likely to undertake. Act as the go-between for various manufacturers and suppliers and the procurement community. Understand how the company's global and strategic procurement policy fits into the overall strategy and ensure that procurement helps to meet the company's business objectives. So for the educational background, usually a global commodity manager must possess a bachelor's degree in supply chain management, engineering, business, economics or an equivalent field. Next, we have a production manager. The average salary is $103,581 US dollars. A production manager is responsible for planning production schedules and ensuring that the production process is accomplished on budget and on time. Duties related to the production manager role may include plan and create work schedules, develop staffing requirements and production cycles to enhance productivity, analyze production processes and recommend strategies to improve these processes. Ensure that equipment is working correctly and that employees are adhering to health and safety guidelines and to provide monthly reports in the areas of quality control, production numbers and safety, for example. And in terms of educational background, most employers require candidates to hold a bachelor's degree in an industrial engineering or business administration. However, some employers prefer individuals with a master's degree in industrial management or business administration. Number 22 is a supply chain manager or senior manager. The average salary is 111,424 US dollars and a supply chain manager or senior manager oversees and manages the company's overall supply chain and logistics operations with the goal of increasing efficiency and productivity as well as reducing costs. Here are some of the specific duties of the supply chain manager's role. Work with managers across the company to plan and execute its supply chain strategy. 
manage and monitor the qualifications and performance of a company's vendors and suppliers to ensure they meet the organization's requirements and manage the day-to-day activities of subordinate staff members. And the educational background, typically a supply chain manager, holds at least a bachelor's degree in supply chain management, sales, logistics or business administration. So the next one is a senior logistics manager and their average salary is coming in at 112,209 US dollars per year. A logistics manager plans and oversees logistics policies, goals and initiatives. Here are some specific duties of a logistics manager. Develop procedures for logistics management to enhance product workflow and reduce costs. Select and negotiate shipping and supplier costs as well as distribution, transportation and inventory control. Supervise materials movement, distribution and storage along with controlling flow of incoming materials and outgoing finished goods. Ensure customers get their products on time and hire, train and supervise warehouse, inventory control, material handling, customer service, transportation and planning employees. And the educational background, typically a logistics manager needs a bachelor's degree in supply chain management, logistics or business administration. Next up is a purchasing manager with an average salary of 116,000 US dollars. A purchasing manager is involved in every facet of an organization's operations from product development to comparing supplier costs to strategic planning to production. Here are some of the specific duties of the purchasing manager role. Create strategic purchasing processes and procedures and manage purchasing. Manage all the vendor and supplier relationships and negotiate major purchase contracts. And evaluate and analyze purchasing and pricing trends to forecast demand and reduce purchasing costs. And their educational background, typically organizations will require a bachelor's degree in business, economics or engineering, although larger enterprises may require a master's degree. Next up and second last is the Vice President of Supply Chain Management and the average salary in the US is $166,440. A Vice President of Supply Chain Management manages all the key aspects of the supply chain processes in the organisation. And here are more specifics of the role. Develop supply chain management strategies in areas such as inventory control, systems integration and optimization, and demand planning that meet the business's performance objectives, as well as customers' expectations. Interact with suppliers and vendors. Find innovative ways to solve supply chain problems and report on progress to the company's supply chain management leader and maintain industry and regulatory compliance and minimize organizational environment health and safety risks. And the educational background, typically a bachelor's degree in supply chain management, business administration, logistics, or in a related field is required for this job. And finally, number one is the chief supply chain management officer and the average salary is a whopping 243,550 us dollars a supply chain's top leadership role requires that an individual possesses an understanding of the business and has acquired the leadership experience to become a division head To achieve this role, a candidate has to demonstrate proficiency in a variety of supply chain management ideas, practices and procedures. This role generally reports to the company's top management. Here's a look at the main duties of a chief supply chain management officer. Oversee the enterprise's inventory, warehousing, distribution and transportation functions and plan and direct all facets of the company's supply chain policies goals and initiatives and typically this position requires a bachelor's of science degree in business administration management or related field some organizations may require a master's degree in business administration procurement social sciences purchasing commerce economics or a related field so many careers options exist in the supply chain management and logistics fields and collectively attract many types of people Companies in virtually every industry need to procure, source and dispatch goods. 
and managing these business functions efficiently and effectively is critical in today's business environment.